Hello, my diamonds, my TikTokers. As you know, I am on a war path this morning because I'm just so sick and tired of how these Jehovah's Witnesses are constantly destroying people's lives. And I'm just disgusted. You know, I think about my family and how I have grandchildren. And what I wish for my grandchildren is for them to turn out like my roommate. She is one of the most amazing Christians. She's non-denominational. And you have to see her friends. You have to see the type of activities they do. You have to see how they vacation, they travel, and they go to church, they read their Bible. And it's just so beautiful. And that's what I wish for my grandchildren, for them to be as successful as my, uh, my, my roommate. Well, before she got married, she was just the most amazing. We used to go to church together, non-denominational. And then she had her friends come over and I looked at the lifestyle of the way they live compared to Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, I'm thinking about the Jehovah's Witnesses and their constant new light, new light. We, we just learned something new. And the reason why they're having so much new light lately is because they're going to court. See, they're never gonna tell Jehovah's Witnesses this part. They're in the court system for the going against human rights. And a lot of the people, when it comes to this shunning and how they're busting up families and destroying families with that disfellowshipping, have you noticed how they no longer call it disfellowshipping? They call it now removal. Mm -hmm. Why did they change that? They had a new light, right? No, because they were losing court cases, human rights. And then they also don't want to lose their tax exemption because they have been banned in over 34 countries. So it's always about the money. It ain't about, oh no, we uh, God has revealed something new to us. Meanwhile, everybody else already saw this. So we, we have more Holy Spirit than the governing body. Jehovah's Witnesses, they're in court when it comes to these sex abuse cases. And they're starting to change up with their new light. They're refusing blood transfusion that's killing. Oh my God, it's just, it's a horror. It's a horror story. 2,000 people every year, 1,000 to 2,000. And, uh, you know, because of their new light, their misinterpretation of the scriptures. And then they use Proverbs chapter four to support. <laughs> it's just too funny. I did my research, honey. And it's, I can't believe that I was caught up in that nonsense for 55 years. I, 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 I don't know, child. They recently changed so many things, honey, because keep in mind, I've been in this organization longer than my children. So they don't know about all the previous teachings that these Jehovah's Witnesses were teaching. They don't know about the false prophecy. Stay alive to 1975 because that's the conclusion. That's the end. This generation will by no means pass away before the conclusion. 1914, then they changed that year. Of course, they had another new light. Uh -huh. Whatever, child. Now you can wear beards. Now that everybody, now, now that the organization said it's okay, you don't see... Jesus Christ never said you couldn't wear beards or what have you. Jesus Christ always said, come as you are. But they don't listen to Jesus. They don't follow Jesus. They listen to the governing body. Okay? And then when it comes to women can now wear pants, where the hell in the Bible does it say that you're not supposed to in the beginning? All these rules that they're making up that are non-scriptural. Before they couldn't join the military. Now they can do, what is that called? Alternative services. Hi, Jehovah's Witnesses. But you talk about no, because the Bible says we're not supposed to kill and the war and we're not supposed to be no part of the world. But now all of a sudden, new light. You know why taxes, they're hitting us in the pocket, child. We're losing court cases. See, this is not the part that they don't tell Jehovah's Witnesses about that. And Jehovah's Witnesses are instructed not to look into anything. Just listen to what the, the governing body is telling you. You're supposed to be brain dead, don't you? Ever develop critical thinking. So, so many people are asking, why do these Jehovah's Witnesses keep changing their belief? And the Watchtower publication, they claim that they change, they have these changes to have refinement and that God gradually reveals his will and his purpose. How is it that God revealed it to all of us first? If they're supposed to be the channel that God is using. Holy Spirit is revealing everything to us. So what's going on, governing body? What's going on? 
Now, these are the group of people, Jehovah's Witnesses, they claim to be the only group to teach the truth as revealed to their governing body. You see how disrespectful I say that name? Governing body. Because they're very disrespectful. Calling people apostates, demonizing people. Busting up families, yeah. So their uh, governing body is uh, considered to be God is revealing things to them. So my question is, if this is the case, why has the Watchtower Doctrine experienced so many ongoing changes? And let me tell you how they justify it. You know, they justify this as the light gets brighter and brighter, things get brighter and brighter, and they use Proverbs chapter 4. Please read Proverbs chapter 4, and you'll notice it has nothing to do to justify you constantly changing up your teachings. There is no Jehovah's Witness that can be sure that their present beliefs or their present teachings won't change. And then I recall also how they, they have the new light, and the new light becomes the old light again, and then the, 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 the old light, it becomes the new light. How do you do that with the blood transfusion issue? Uh, how, how, what? Now, I'm going to post information on my YouTube channel because you can't really post it that much on here on how they flip-flop back and forth where they go from new light and it becomes old light and then they go back to the old light. One minute, certain people are going to be resurrected. Next minute, no, they're not going to be resurrected. The next they have, maybe they'll be resurrected. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, they will not be resurrected. And then towards the end, yes, the 1974, they will be resurrected. Make up your mind, y'all. I mean, come on already. That's just a, 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 a one, one of their teachings that's constantly changing. And the scripture they use exactly is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Now, will you please read the whole chapter? And you'll see that that's just the father speaking to his son. If you go one way, your road, will, if you go God's way, your, your path will get brighter and brighter. If you take the path of the devil, your path will not get brighter. That's all that means, but they took that out of context too, child. And I'm supposed to trust their interpretation? Are we serious? And it seems like these Jehovah's Witnesses are usually confused all the time. The evidence proves that no Jehovah's Witness can really know when their doctrines will change again. Even going back to a previous opposite position that they once rejected, like with the Sodomites. But that's, you got to go into the details with that one too. Now this governing body of these Jehovah's Witnesses, they changed their own beliefs based on what they call, like I said, the new light, and because of the way they misuse the scriptures. Their interpretations about a lot of the scriptures are wrong. You know, this governing body, what they want is for people to believe that their falsehood, it becomes the truth one minute, and then again, it becomes false again the next minute, and then it becomes the truth again and again, Whenever who say so, Jesus, the Holy Spirit? No, whenever they say so. They actually have their followers so co confused. Satan is very crafty. I got to give them, I, Satan, come on, he got the credit on that one. The so-called new light is sometimes become their old rejected teachings. And that's just what it is. They're not being led by the Holy Spirit. They are not inspired by Jehovah God or Jesus Christ. It's a man-made organization who come up with their own rules so that they can stay in power and stay in control. And like I said, the reason they're making so many changes, baby, is because they're losing so many court cases and they don't want to be banned like they are in well over 34 countries. Just do your research. Thank God for the internet, sweetheart. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you, hoping that I could help people, prevent people from falling into that trap. Go for non-denominational community or fellowship church. And the people who take God and Christ serious, those are the ones you hang with. And the ones who are not, those are the ones you, you, you stay away and pray for them and try to build them up. It's just that simple. They got a lot of fake, phony Jehovah's Witnesses too, who are living double lives. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.